everyone, I'm Hal, I'm Mal, and we are Hal, Hal Mal, Mal Productions! Productions. Yay! Yay! <laughs> um, yesterday was amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If I didn't say it already, I think I did. I don't see why I wouldn't have. Um, but hold on, I gotta turn the music down for me on my head. <laughs> I can't hear myself speak. Okay, so... It was going great, um, until Morgan, sorry, my dog came in. He can open doors? Does anyone else, is like, pets, like, do that? My dog's, he's just, he's not even smart, he just knows how to open doors. You gonna stay in? He doesn't know. He kind of likes chilling with us. Um, can you close the door? Uh, yeah, give me a sec. Okay, so... Um, everything was going great. Oof. Everything was going great until Morgan looked back at what we drew and we re- I, I can't believe we did this. I can't believe it. I can't- I, We no. got the hand backwards. No, ah, no, oh, you exposed it! It's backwards. This hand right here. It's backwards. The thumb should be towards the camera. Mm -hmm. And I completely forgot. And I'm horrible. Uh. Like, even if you had your hand like this, it wouldn't work. Huh? I don't know. It's weird. It's weird to look at. Because it doesn't look... It looks... It looks off, but it also doesn't look off. You know what I mean? I know what you mean. I know exactly what you mean. It's just really annoying. Mm-hmm. Because I basically just have to redo all of this. Yeah. But in other news, I've got some good news. Um, 
So yesterday, I think I told, I don't know if I said it in the stream, but um, boba. I made boba tea, uh, taro milk tea with brown sugar bo bo boba balls. And um, the tea was really good. I, I'm really proud of myself on that part. I'm, I, I was, whew, cause my uncle, um, he's like a chef, sort of. He, he's so not actually, oh, hello, thank oh, you. Hi. Zolek, Zolek for following. Let me know if I said that right. But thank you for the follow. Um, thank you. But the boba I made, it was good. Um, the boba balls were too big. <laughs> they wouldn't go up the straw and it kind of made it a pain to drink. Which, uh, boba is wonderful. It is, I know. Um, I can't actually drink too much of it because I'm, I'm really lactose intolerant. Oh, Zilex, that's right, okay, yay. <laughs> Zolek, I got it right. Okay. I'm I'm not very good at reading stuff. Yeah, I'm the one that's talking. Um, but the boba balls were, eh, they were all right. They were just really big and wouldn't go up the straw. And I didn't really let them soak in like the boba, the brown sugar mixture, like to let it like soak up all the sweetness. I didn't let it sit long enough. So, they were kind of sweet, but not as sweet as I wanted them to be. And they were a little chewier than I liked because they were too big. And they were just annoying. But the tea, mwah, I'm so proud of myself. Okay. Mm -hmm. The tea it, was really good. The taro tea. Mm. It's um, green tea with, um, what's it called? Ginger. Green tea, green tea. Green tea, Green tea ginger. ginger. Um, that's like one part. And then I doubled the amount of like taro that I put in, like in comparison to like the tea. And then I used like vanilla creamer for like the milk. And then I put in brown sugar on the sweetener. And it was good. It was really good. I'm proud of myself. Because my uncle, he's a chef. And, um,. He made a terrible, terrible taro drink. I, he like, I don't know, did he just, I think he just put the powder in, the iced tea, without cooking it. So it just tasted very dry and I was choking on it. I was like, ah, ha, ha, gross. So yeah, I was a bit- he didn't do the taro right at all. <laughs> I was a bit doubtful that I could get it right, but I did. Uh, also, um, some people were interested in commissions and I'm trying to set it up, okay? I'm, I didn't realize that my services would be wanted right away. So I was like, oh yeah, I'm thinking of doing commissions. <laughs> and then they were like, rig me. And I'm like, ah, okay. I'm, I'm happy to, I really am, because I do want to get better. And also, I do want to rig people. But um, I just didn't have anything set up yet. So I'm, I'm trying to get it set up speedy, you know? Um, but also making it look good and easy to read cool. and all that. <laughs> Excuse me while I try to fix this. Um, I can't it's believe good. we messed up the hand. It, it's oh, nobody That's caught so it. So I posted upsetting. it on Instagram before we caught it. It was terrible. I'd have to repost it. Yeah. I don't actually, but you're gonna make me repost it anyways. Also, I hope no one can hear my stomach growling. What am I doing? <laughs> I don't know I'm not actually do that hungry. It's just my stomach's making weird noises. Um, How do I thumb? Uh. And what else? There was the tea that I made and uh, the commissions oh. that I'm setting up. Wrong. Uh, oh, uh, so a lot of the people that followed yesterday were also other VTubers and I'm part of the group now. I'm part of the posse. Uh, that's pretty cool. Um, I knew Mushi way before, and she just invited like a ton of other people. That was really cool. I, I appreciated that. Um, so it was just, it was a really cool like first stream. I wasn't expecting like anyone to show up, um, but people showed up, which was cool. Oops. Uh, and we were going to just start on Morgan um, 
in their introduction, but they went, no, I'm starting with the hand. I'm not gonna let this go. I yeah, welcome it. to virtuality, by the way. Yes, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's cool. I, 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 I like the people. They're all really nice so far, and I, I managed to check a couple people out, uh, which was cool. And yeah, I, I like seeing other other VTubers. It's it's cool. I <laughs> I like having friends, I guess. What is this? What is what? Oh wait, I know what it is. I know <laughs> it's this. art problems. Huh. Yeah, okay. It was. Now I must Um Oops. As for like rigging, I'm thinking of like, you know, commissions, right? Um, though like, there's some stuff that like, I'm pretty sure, like I could like, tell people like, oh, hey, if you want this done, I could probably do it, you know? Um, for example, physics, I have physics, they're just very, uh, swingy. They're very, uh, if I can get the hair. It's very swingy. It, like most other like VTubers have like bounce. Mine swing. Um, though I found out a way, uh, it's called skinning to like make the physics like way better. Um, I don't feel like putting in the energy to put it on my model, but if I was commissioned to do that, I could probably do that. So probably add in like extra details or whatever. I don't know, I've never commissioned before. <laughs> It's all new to me. I don't know, what do you think? Is that hand better? I think so. Alrighty then. Um, Though, I think it would be cool to have like... Hmm. Cause it's a little confusing having the background behind me and the background in front of me be the same. If that makes any sense. Right? So... What, what are you thinking? Uh... Maybe make it like a darker purple. Like, not like a super dark purple, but you know what I'm talking about, right? No. I was thinking... <laughs> uh, Great. I was actually thinking instead of just like continuing the paper texture, I would just put the flat color. Yeah, but I still feel like it's like too similar in color, right? So like make it like slightly darker, not like super dark, but like slightly di darker than the light purple. Ugh. Oh, also, I need to add PNGs to the the virtuality thing, um, so that I could have. Well, if we if we ever did collab, which would be cool, that would be cool to collab. Yeah, I like that hand better. Um, but I need I I think the background should be like a flat color that's like darker. All right. Um. So like this. Wow, that's amazing. That's exactly what I was looking for. <laughs> Listen. What? Excuse Wrong. me. Wrong. What? 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 Where? Are you doing it on the... Okay, hold on. Give me a second. Okay, I'll give you a second. Is it gonna... Why is it not... Why? You know, I'm really allergic to cats. I really shouldn't, I, well, okay, it's not a choice. <laughs> I guess is the point I'm trying to make. I, I really shouldn't be allergic to cats, but I am. <laughs> oh, no. um, actually, allergies are really bad in my family. Except um, for me, who is allergic. Yeah, no, you don't have any allergies. You somehow were like, mm, no. And, um, but we have like family members that are allergic to uh, a lot of stuff and they need to basically constantly carry around like a couple EpiPens. Um, okay, which is a little scary, I gotta admit. Ah, that's why. Because you did it on the layer that's above, right? I, I, I understand why? now. Okay. I don't know why I did it like that. Um, that my bad. But I really like cats. They're super cute. I have a dog that acts like a cat. Um, <laughs> which is like the closest thing I could probably get. 
Um, cause he's hypoallergenic, which like, I'm not even sure what that means, right? Well, how are there breeds that are hypoallergenic? He's a Bichon. he has hair and not fur. What's the difference? I don't get it. Um, but my uncle has a cat. She's the cutest thing ever. Her name is Mocha. Oh my gosh. Just absolutely adorable. I, I ah, makes my heart swoon. I, um, and she just chased around like this fly around the house, like a crazy Hello. person. I couldn't even What's see the that? fly, but there she was going. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Um, I want to get a cat when I'm older, though I'm so, I'm pretty sure that I'll just have a terrible allergic reaction and I wouldn't be able to, yeah, like that. Do you that. think that's better? All right. Whatever. You see what I mean? I see what you mean. Now it looks like I'm actually separated from the back. That's nice. Anyway, that's nice. so the hand has been fixed. Our sins have been, uh, resolved. <laughs> what is the word? Atoned? Atoned. Yeah. We've atoned for our sins of backward handness. Okay. So now, Your turn. Now I can start on myself. I'm gonna actually put all of this in a group. <laughs> all of the me? Yeah. Hmm. Actually, I'm gonna leave it. Ah! What'd you do? Um. No. I lost what? my heart. What happened? What happened? What is actually happening right now? Whoa. Ah! Stop. <laughs> what? Oh, I'm. Oh, wait, no, it's not fine. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> this is how art works. It's fine. No, wait. <laughs> mm, no. Digital art, at least. With traditional art, it's a little bit different. I actually am better at traditional art, I think, than I am at digital. Uh, I, I used to have this um, sketchbook that I, like, I stitched together, handmade myself. And it was, like, pretty cool. You remember it? Um, no. <laughs> what? I, it was, I stitched, what? How do you not remember it? I made you color one of the covers. Oh, wait, no, I remember. Okay, yeah. you made the, okay. Anyway, here's me. This is my profile. Yes. <laughs> my name is Mal. Uh, I am a Taurus, which means I'm stubborn and lazy. <laughs> uh, yeah, basically. Very. And Please I'm also... Think. Asexual, fun fact, and also non-binary. I use they them pronouns. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Look how she <laughs> winked! <laughs> I use they them pronouns. Nice to meet you. <laughs> okay, I didn't actually mean to wink there, but it was perfect. Anyway, <laughs> my birthday is May 17th. It which just means I passed. turned 16, uh, like, less than a month ago. Mm -hmm. So, so I... driving is a thing. They actually never got their temps. Um, they have their temps now, after they turn 16. Which isn't what happened with me. Can I just say, hold on, I know you're talking, but can I just talk? Um, sure. <laughs> um, so, I was forced to get my driver's license as soon as I was 15 and a half, right? Which is when I like get my temps and stuff. You, I don't know how you did it. You like, just like, were like, no. And then you, they just forgot to ask you again. And then time passed and now it's gone. You need to find a way to turn off notifications. Yeah, I should. Um. Mm -hmm. Are you going to be leaning up against the wall like, hey, you know? Um, not quite. Uh, I had an idea. Ooh, what's your idea? I'm basically going to be sitting on the box. <gasps> Ooh. Like... I like, I like, I like. So back to your hobbies, drawing, obviously, right? It would be a problem if one of my hobbies was not drawing. Hmm. Um. So, uh, and I also kind of this is a more recent hobby. Yeah. Baking. Uh, Me too. We bake together. I recently so. I think for Christmas last year, I got like this KitchenAid stand mixer. I was the one that <laughs> I was the one that told mom and dad to get it for you, by the way. Well, thank you for that. I think. Because you are so cool. hard to buy gifts for. You are the worst to buy gifts for, actually. 
I think. Yeah. Because you'll be like, nah, I don't want anything. Like, not even money. Like, to buy myself a thing, because I'll just, I'll just put it away. Yeah, I so, have problems. <laughs> you know, just don't get me anything. I'm like, I'm getting you something. Something. I will find something, and I will give it to you. I, I don't... Hmm. I will. And... I just... You're so difficult. I'm the only one that can actually get you gifts, I think. Everyone comes to me and asks me. What they don't know is that I actually go over to you after the fact and go, would you like this for your birthday? I know it gets rid of the surprise, I know, but like, when you're Morgan, there's no other option. Um, but baking's fun, you like it. Mm-hmm. You actually uh, got into it because Right? You wanna... Sorry, what? How'd you get into baking? Um, i just always kind of been interested in it. But when was, what was the first thing you baked? I don't know. With Maddie. It wasn't the first, I don't remember. Well, okay, but I'm not asking for the very first thing, but the thing that like, you know. Ah, I do like this. I don't know. I just wanted you to talk about your thing with Maddie. Do you not want to? What? Tiny made bread with Maddie. Oh, is that oh what you want? Oh my god. If you wanted me to talk about baking bread, then just tell me that. Oh my god. Okay. okay. So there was this one time. So I was like, you know, <laughs> like at my girlfriend's house. Mm-hmm. And uh, they were like, do you want to make bread? And I was like, sure. And then we made bread and it was pretty great. It You're an amazing like, storyteller. <laughs> I'm ashamed. It was interesting. It was fun. I mm-hmm. liked it. But listen. <laughs> uh anyway, let's move on. I'm not good yeah, at Yeah, okay. I probably shouldn't have put you on the spot like that. <laughs> My bad. Uh um I like so... that pose. I'm a little jealous. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cute, you're cuter, that's not fair. That's illegal. Ooh, I, okay, so I was in a play once. Um, well, it wasn't a play. It was not a play. I think Called it's gonna get off topic. 30 Reasons Not to Be in a Play. Oh yeah, you're supposed to go through the rest of your stuff. <laughs> yeah, I was like, hello. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll get back to that story. Um. You like? Uh, yeah, um, so I like cartoons. I think that should be pretty obvious. Um, Guess what? We are cartoons. Don't tell us that though. We're uh, real people. <laughs> I like sleep. I didn't get any sleep yesterday. Oh yeah. So I got my COVID shot yesterday, which meant that in the middle of the night, I would be in a lot of pain and I was. And um, I remember I went into Haley's room literally crying and i was like go away <laughs> well i didn't like, i didn't know why you were in pain because you didn't you tell forgot. me no because i was half asleep i could have sworn i said yeah because i got a covid shot i don't i don't think i got that <laughs> well whatever look the point is i didn't get sleep last night and i'm really sad about it yeah i literally just didn't go to sleep and it was the worst because i well, literally never had an experience a day where i like just didn't go to sleep the whole night actually as babies our parents would just put us in our cribs and we would go to sleep no fuss i don't yeah my parents are like you guys were the best babies I, you would always eat your food you would always go to bed like when you were tired you just conk out right there you know sometimes we wouldn't even get you to your bed in time you just bonk like dead like just very uh children <laughs> yes well i don't even think we were very children we were very robot um your other hobbies uh not <laughs> not no you mean likes uh food uh i like food uh moving on tea <laughs> i like tea I Your don't... likes are pretty boring, but yeah. I think mine were too. It's hard to come up with things that you like and dislike on the spot, I have to say. It has to be very general. Like, I can think about things that I like, but they're very specific things. Anyway, 
So tea. Um, I uh, like Haley. I mostly just drink water. Yeah. Um, but like you know, I really wanted to get into tea because it looks really nice and yummy. Uh, and and you did. So you did. Um. And I enjoy making tea for them. It's pretty cool. It's the circle of life. Um, there's a like missing from your likes. It is. Crying. Yeah. Um. That sound, and the reason you didn't put it, right, was because it's depressing sounding. Yeah, it sounds uh, a little bit alarming. But it's not that alarming. I can't cry. I, I would like to, you know, if I have all these emotions. I'd like to just cry them out. Get over it. But that doesn't happen. No, I I carry the burden of being sad forever until I die. <laughs> yeah, so I like crying because uh, it feels nice. Every time I do cry, there's like this relief after you cry, right? Like you're crying, you're crying, and then you're like, I'm done. <sighs> I'm done. Like, yeah, that was nice, you know? It is. It is really nice. Um, and I wish more people talked about it. Mm-hmm. But you, if you could cry, there's a lot of time. I remember, uh, so our grandparents, not all of them, but some of them are mean. Um, there was these vi these grandparents that we were visiting. We had to, like, uh, I think <laughs> Boomer has now decided he doesn't want out. He can only open doors to get into rooms. He can't open doors to get out of rooms. So, do you want to let him out? Yeah, give me a second. There he goes. Okay, um, anyway, so what were we talking about? Anyway, can we go to the things I don't like now? Ah, or what were we, what were crying. we just talking about? Crying? Yeah. So, uh, it's very relaxing. <laughs> being able to just cry. Oh, yeah. There were these grandparents that um, we visited. And... Ah! Grandparents, you know? Um, it's just some of them. Not all of them, but like... Mm. So these ones were really, really mean. And... I think the grandma said something to both of us that made us both cry. But I... We both walked away into like our little like guest room and like cried. Right? It was the first time I cried in a while. But then she was like, come on, dinner. And then I just, like, stopped crying and left. And you were like, what? <laughs> like, no, yeah, because she left me alone. Well, I, well, because I, if I didn't, if I didn't leave, then she was going to come, like, into there and be like, oh, you guys are crying. Well, guess what? And she did actually do that anyways because Morgan wasn't coming out. But I was just like, okay, I'm done. Um, I didn't cry enough, though. But crying is nice. Um, that grandma was mean. Anyways, dislikes. I can't hold back my tears, okay? Like, it's not I hold back my tears even my when I don't want to. Your dislikes. Um, action movies? Okay, so I hate action movies because they're boring <laughs> which doesn't make sense uh, yeah no it, it really doesn't I just think I can't get into them and I pretty much every single time I've tried to watch an action movie I fell asleep in the middle that doesn't sound again I would much rather sleep than watch an action movie <laughs> mm. um, I also don't like boredom uh, cause it's, like, cause I can never really decide what to do when I'm bored. Uh, and it's really <laughs> annoying. You, you can draw, but then you always go, no, not that, I want to do that. <sighs> yeah, it's kind of an issue. Mm-hmm. Uh, failure, I think people should understand that one, okay? <laughs> yeah. Um, it's it's a fear that many people have, I think. Mm-hmm. What are you doing right now? Uh, just stuff. Ignore me. Boomer, I swear to God. Oh, my God. Do you want in or out? Are you in or out? You're 
make your decision. I can't believe it. Um. Yeah, never mind. Okay. Um, other dislikes? Um, exercise. Okay, so I am very lazy. Well, I've already, I think this has been, already been made clear. <laughs> you like gymnastics sometimes. <laughs> mm, yeah, but I, I really don't like exercise. Um, well, I can, okay, whatever. <laughs> just cause I get tired really easily and uh, like, Wait. Just standing around makes my There's another hurt. likes missing from your thing. Where are stuffed animals? I didn't put that one in the end because I thought of other things. Well, stuffed animals, I think, is an interesting one. So I think you should talk about it. Um, okay. So or do you want me to talk about it because <laughs> you're drawing? Can you talk about it? Okay. Um, so when we were younger, uh, Santa would come, obviously, because it's Christmas. Um, and we would get stuffed animals, like, hanging out of our stockings, okay? A new one every Christmas. And, um, Webkins was a, was a big thing. Um, it's not, does Webkins exist still? I, I, uh, I think yeah. it does. But, like, Club Penguin's gone. But, uh, Webkins was a big, big, big thing. And, um... I think these these were our first webkins. I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. Um, and I got a dog. I thought that it was Pom Pom, but I think it was Crazy. That sounds okay. So those are my we're, those are the names I named my dogs. Um, but Morgan, I know exactly what Morgan's pet was. It was a koala. You know why I remember? <laughs> koala teddy bear. That was the name of the animal. Koala teddy bear. You were how old? You couldn't like have come two. up with like sprinkle princess whatever. No, no. koala teddy bear. No, I actually, I think you said, it's a teddy bear. And I said, it's a koala idiot. <laughs> and you were like, koala teddy bear. And you yeah, just didn't, you still have it. Um, They still sleep with it. I'm exposing you. I'm sorry. And it's still named that. It's still named Koala Teddy Bear. You know, I've thought about this a couple times. Um, do you ever see like those stuffed animal restorers? Those saints of people. They restore stuffed animals. I've always thought about like, you know, sending Koala Teddy Bear over to that. You know, because that seems, that seems like a nice thing, you know? After all of the years that he's been with me. I know, it seems like he would like it, but, um... I'd have to, like, the problem with that is that I'd have to part with him for a few days, and I, I literally just don't sleep without Koala Teddy Bear at all. <laughs> yeah. I can maybe give you one of my stuffed animals. You don't have any. Yeah, because we already have them. <laughs> exactly. Um... Mm -hmm. Um, what I was saying about the play... I was in a play, not a play, called 30 Reasons Not to Be in a Play, because it wasn't a play, but it was a play. No, it wasn't. Um, and it was really, 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 really fun. It was my first play with my um, high school. I did plays before then, but um, they were with like other organizations, or they were like um, with the middle school. Or just something else entirely. Um, this is my first one with the high school. And I absolutely adore high school plays. I still do. I've, gra I've graduated. But I like all those people I, I care about. All those people are awesome. I really, really like the director. I think she's a wonderful director. And a really good teacher as well. Um, I, care. I care about um, the plays a lot. It felt very professional. Which sounds stupid for a high school play, but like, at least like the people that I hung out with. And a lot of them, I know, want to do theater as a living, and I 1000% think they could. Um, but I, um, it was my first play. It was a comedy. 
obviously. <laughs> um, and it was really different because there were no scene changes. There, there, it was like we stayed on the stage the entire time. And we didn't leave the stage. So we would play a different character every reason, right? So it'd be like reason number one, plays suck. Reason number two, when you were in, uh, I think that's actually, <laughs> I think that actually was reason number one, plays yeah. suck. And no, it was. <laughs> I remember. Um, that. and there would be different characters we'd play depending on the reason. And it was very fun, it was very fun. And one of the characters I played, I think it was reason number seven. It might have been six. No, it was reason number seven. Um, I played a little girl named Susie. And this little girl was a psychopath. Um, she, <laughs> it's like when you were in like, um, when you were a kid, your parents were always like, go play with Susie. And uh, um, so you did, and Susie, would torture you. She would be like, I'm gonna be a fairy and you're gonna be the carpet that I write, um, wipe my feet on. Like, it was very fun. It was very fun. I did step on that dude's back. Uh, I'm still friends with him. His name's Eli. Uh, <laughs> it was fun. Um, just a whole play. I wasn't the only character I played. I also played a mother who was trying to feed a baby who was a grown man with a beard. Uh, which is always weird. I don't understand how like high school boys get beards so fast. Not all of them, obviously. It's like a small, a select few, but like, it's still kind of impressive. Like it's a full grown beard too. It wasn't even like, well, okay. I guess my, my definition of a full grown beard is a little bit not. It wasn't like, it wasn't like long. It was just like, you know, a You could tell it was a beard. beard. I don't know. Like how else definition it wasn't Goes like one of those like super long uh, flowing beards that are basically just hair but on your chin. <laughs> yeah. It's like... It was a beard. I don't know how else to describe it, man. Um, that was when I played... I also played a bodyguard. Um, I was next to these two really beefy guys. And me, little 411 Hal, just like... Hi, you know? <laughs> Um, and I was the leader of them. I was like, get over here. And the person I was chasing was also huge. I had to like get on my tippy toes to grab his shoulder and like yank him down and then drag him across the stage. It was fun. I really liked that play. I, uh, it was my first play. My second play and my last play, sadly, um, because COVID, um, was Romeo and Juliet. Also a really fun play. You wouldn't expect it. I know. Um, Romeo and Juliet is like you know, Romeo and Juliet. What, what else would you expect? It's, you know, the one where the two guys die at the end. The two guys. Yeah. They die at the end. They do. There's two guys that die in the middle. And a chick. <laughs> um, well, they never really give a reason why the families are fighting, but the Capulets and Montagues always fighting. Yeah, but like, man, it was really, really, like, ah, it was fun. I was the understudy for the nurse, which is a really big part. Um, and I kind of regret not actually working on it as, like, on the understudy part as much as I did. Though I will say, I don't think anyone worked on their understudy parts. And the reason why was because, um, half the people who had understudy parts were also leads. I was not one of those people. Uh, I was... Instead, Petra, who was originally Peter, who is the nurse's handmaid. So you sort of see the problem, right? Um, most of like the understudies were like, you know, also characters that were in the scene with the other people. And you couldn't really just get rid of Peter. Peter was like pretty much all over the place in act two. Um, I also was one of the start starting people like with the big fight scene, we actually played with swords. <laughs> okay, we didn't play with swords. We were very professional about it. Um, and they weren't real swords, obviously. They were they were stage, stage stuff. Um, 
And we were supposed to do West Side Story as like a musical and I was gonna audition for that too. And then, uh, yeah, it, it was really disappointing. Cause like, I really like, man, it would have been really fun to do West Side. <laughs> it's like one of those musicals that like I actually like. Um, the other musicals that our school did, I was sort of like meh about, you know? Um, one of them was like, uh, Joseph. And to be honest, I don't really like Andrew Lloyd Webber, like, any of his plays. That's, like, not that uncommon of a, of a, you know, opinion to have. Mm -hmm. But it's... Okay, I'm gonna need to put another... It's definitely... Are you gonna wave? Like, hi? Uh, yeah. Cute! Um... But if you don't know who Andrew Lloyd Webber is and you don't know what Joseph is, you probably know what Cats is. He wrote that. Joseph is sort of like Cats. Enough said. Well, with less Cats, I will say that. <laughs> um, it's more biblical. Um, and it's not a bad play. I actually really enjoyed our school's production of it because the lighting, oh my god. I loved our lighting designer. I think Bella was the one that did it. It was cool. Um, but the lighting was really good. Um, especially, like, there was, like, this one where he was in jail, and, like, there was fog, and, like, the lights were shining on it, and it, like, made these invisible bars. Oh, my God, it was so cool. Um, that's, like, <laughs> and, like, the singer was also good. The outfits were cool, and there was this one comedic moment that I really liked. Um, but I didn't super love the songs. I don't know. Like, it was also one of those plays where it's, like, they're constantly singing, and I don't hate plays like that. Um, they're not plays, they're musicals. Um, it's just, I feel like there's less time to, like, uh, act. And also, um, there's only so many good singers in high school, you know? And if everyone's singing, like, some people are really good at acting, but not great at singing. I'm not one of those people. I'm actually good at both. <laughs> okay. I, I was never in a musical in our high school, though. That was a little sad. Um, but the other plays I were in, I was in, was like not that. In I, I didn't really like any of them except for maybe Shrek. Maybe Shrek the Musical. I yeah, that was <laughs> actually Shrek the Musical is really good. If you haven't seen it, I 1000% recommend uh, watching Shrek the Musical. I I was an elf, a little shoe elf, like one of the fairy tale creatures, which meant that I was probably one of the more skilled people. <laughs> I'm such a narcissist. Um, but there was like the most people, because I wasn't a old person an eighth grader i was not an eighth grader oh wait no actually suzical was like mixing the high school and the middle school but this was before i got a new high school okay anyways um my friend though who was the same age as me got donkey oh my god but he's been doing plays for a while at that point it was my first well it was my second play but like the first one i don't think counts and then i ended up doing a lot of plays with him after the fact and we were like typically leads together which was cool um but I can't help but feel like the only reason, like, that I got the leads were because of him, because the director was a little bit, like... Favoritism. <laughs> favoritism, yeah. So, um, but I, I, I worked really hard, and I was probably one... You were the other one, um, because we did these plays together. We were the only ones that, like, actually... Memorized the script? Yeah. There was a I lot of... There, there were, like, leads that, like, didn't know their lines at all. During, like, an actual performance, they'd want to call out line. It was pretty annoying. Most of the time, they turned to me, and I'd have to mouth the line to them. And it was... I kind of wish I didn't, but, like, the, the, oh, it was so... Ugh. But our high school would never do that. It was so... I liked it. I'm saying professional in terms of, like, the other plays I did. Um, which weren't as professional, let's be honest. Um... I, I liked comparing it to Broadway. I don't think it was Broadway, but um, watching it in the audience, it sort of felt like Broadway. That's a still like an overstatement. I don't know. It is an overstatement, but listen. Yeah. 
But um, good. when I go to college, I definitely think that I do want to do plays, cause that's something I I miss. And oh, I wanted to talk about uh, Romeo and Juliet one more time because I absolutely adored the person that played um, oh, what's his name, the crazy one. Mercutio. Yes, Mercutio. Um, Maddie was amazing. It was so great. I think um, she wasn't even the one that originally got the role, but I'm the other person had to like pull out like at the very beginning of the play. But oh my god, stunning performance. It was really good, honestly. I was very. I think everyone loved that performance. The, the crazy uh, monologue that Montague, not Montague, uh, Mercutio has, so long and lengthy, like the one about the queen, um, really well performed, uh, and just really good blocking as well. I think they all came up with that themselves. I don't remember if the director told them. I, I, she could have, but I don't remember. But it was all really good, and I, I, I really like I really like plays. I, I miss I miss them. Oh, I will say, in our high school, um, I was in a drama class, and we were supposed to perform a play. It was another. It was another Shakespeare play, um, *Midsummer Night's Dream*, which I think is absolutely hilarious. I <laughs> I really like it. Um, and I was going to play Helena, which I was so excited to play. And then COVID, ugh. Um, but that wasn't like an actual play from our school. It was like a bunch of like schools were going to play like, I think a scene from that. But like, I was really excited. And we sort of like, we did do a scene, but it was like more like a monologue from the play. Uh, I'm slow today. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, you're sleepy. I get it. Yeah, I'm so sleepy. Mm hmm. Wait a second. I don't have an activity board. You don't what? Hold on. Sorry. There we go. <laughs> ah! I'm goofy. Um, there we go. <laughs> I just realized I was missing like an important thing for streaming. Whoops. Um, it's all good. I, I fixed it. I kind of have to go to the bathroom though. Will you? Will you? Will you be all right? Uh, no, I won't. I'm so sleepy. I don't even know what to talk about. Hmm, okay, I'll give you a thing to talk about. You can talk more about plays if you want. Like, about what you did in the plays. Which was... A You'll figure it out. I gotta go pee. Oh, uh, talk about your Hogwarts house. Um, uh, I'm a Gryffindor, and I feel like that should be obvious because I'm a Weasley. Um... Gosh, darn it. Um... Uh, but I also do genuinely fit a lot of what Gryffindor is all about. <laughs> um, I'm not brave or anything, or courageous, but I- or like, really impulsive, but like, I was looking at a bunch of like- Obviously every single time I've taken the Pottermore quiz, I've been sorted into either Gryffindor or Hufflepuff. <laughs> so, um... Uh, um, which, so instead of just like, good lord, what is going on here? Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, so I, every time I've taken the Pottermore quiz, I've been sorted into uh, Gryffindor or Hufflepuff, which... Um, so the reason that I decided Gryffindor instead of Hufflepuff is 
uh, mostly because I'm a Weasley, but also, <laughs> also because I do, like, fit into a lot more of the Gryffindor attributes than I thought I did. Uh, I can't remember which attributes they are now that I'm trying to talk about them, but yeah. Um, Haley is back. I am. Uh, it's such a pain to get, like, in and out of, like, this place that I'm sitting in. Because I'm in between, like, a wall and Morgan. <laughs> so I'm just like, nah. Uh, pretty cool. Um, what else? Ah. Um, I already talked about the cicadas, but they're, they're terrible. Um, I actually also had a pretty bad reaction to COVID. You mean the vaccine? <laughs> yeah, oh God, I didn't actually, <laughs> okay, listen, I was very well quarantined. I didn't want to get out of my house. You good? <laughs> no, I'm not. The line keeps wanting to break in the middle of me drawing it. Weird. Um, but I, I, I think our whole family did. The second dose hits you hard. Um, yeah. If anyone else is getting the second dose, um, I would recommend, number one, windmill your arm. Windmill? Like, windmill. Windmill. Wind, ah, I am saying it wrong. Windmill. Windmill your arm. Uh, sorry, I was scratching my face. Um, second thing, take three Advil before you go to bed and sleep with a healing pad as well. Mm. Literally anywhere you're gonna be cold. Yeah, I didn't I didn't take three Advil before I went to bed. I, I took it after I woke up. But it helped a lot, right? It did, I think. What else could have helped you? I have no idea. And also, you went straight to sleep after you took it. That's a good point. I, I took a big, long nap mm -hmm. after taking Advil. Um... Don't worry, you don't sleep forever. Uh, and you know, you say you're slow, but I think you're actually going a bit faster. You think? I don't know. How Keep much going. time has passed? It's almost been an hour. Okay. It was an hour 30 for me. It was about that long, yeah. Huh. Uh, I think you're speedy. I think this is going to end up taking me longer since I haven't even started with... Okay, colors. well, whatever. <laughs> um, Not that much longer. Which is a bit surprising, I'll be honest. Um. Did Kiara have three debuts? Is that what you were saying? Uh, she might have had two, but I think she had three. Uh, because after she like dies and gets reborn <laughs> that's she so loses funny her memory for a little bit okay i think that's the thing <gasps> oh my god what if every time she loses her memory she falls back in love with callie she does i think that's what actually makes her get her memory back <laughs> oh that's so precious okay, um... the thing about uh callie and kiara is like they seem like genuine like Pals, you know? Gal pals. Gal pals. Maybe more. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I, I don't really want to ship like real life people. Um but their characters. Uh in a way. Are very cute. And And I mean they ship themselves with each other. Yeah. Well, Kiara ships herself with Callie. <laughs> Step on me, Callie! <laughs> I feel you, Kiara. I feel the exact same way. Who wouldn't be in love with Callie, honestly? <laughs> Not only is she like super pretty, but like she's super talented. She can draw, she can make calming ASMR videos for when I'm sleepy. Uh, she's the Grim Reaper. <laughs> is that the Grim Reaper? She can rap and draw. Which is like, that sounds like sort of like a weird thing to put together. But like, imagine like someone like drawing and they're just suddenly going like, dead beats, like, you know, uh, it's like, 
Also, I like absolutely like love Callie's songs. Like, there's like a lot of YouTubers that like you know become singers, but like she feels like an actual singer that became a VTuber, which that's cool. I, I really. Oh, <gasps> third life. Oh, that's something I wanted third to talk life. about. Did third life. Talk about it today. Ooh. Well, I don't know because I, I okay. So I haven't seen the the recent episode that came out. Like I think it. Well, at this point, it probably came out an hour ago, but, um... Way over an hour ago. Way over an hour ago, but, like, I haven't seen it, because when I was getting ready to stream, it came out. Um, I definitely want to see it, but, man, okay, so I really like, um, Minecraft multiplayer servers, and I always think that they're entertaining. Um, I haven't watched the Dream SMP, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, blasphemous, blasphemous. Not really. I don't. I don't want to get into the dream SMP. Yeah, it's too, too much. There's too much stuff to sift through. Also, eh, I can't really like talk about like the people, but like they. From Bad what vibes. I've heard, they're not the best. Um. But third life, on the other hand, oh my gosh. So I. Oh my god. <laughs> so. I've watched a lot of these people since I was, like, pretty young. Mostly um, just Joel and Scott. And yeah. Jimmy's kind of new. But, like, I've been watching him for... Um, I watched a lot of them, like, in Kingdom Craft and in X-Life. All that stuff. I'm surprised Lizzie isn't in it, but I think she's back in college, which is why. I mean, yeah. Uh, that's why she hardly uploaded on X Life either. Mm -hmm. And I think that's kind of why, because you always like for Third Life, you have to all be filming at the same time. Yeah. But like, even without her there, oh my god, it's like probably the most entertaining. I, I just, it's good. It's the best Minecraft SMP to ever exist. I, I'm. I really, really like it. It's set up in a way that's not going to last that long so there's like not that much content to sift through but there's also a lot of content to sift through if you want to see like every person's different like perspective yeah so it's so good honestly mm -hmm. i think it might be uh pretty I, much over now because <laughs> I, I, I was looking so yeah. many people had their fan finales and like two of those people were on yellow lives yeah oh god oh did scott have a finale no, not Scott. I don't think... I, Scott hasn't uploaded his video yet. He's always so slow. Get to it, Scott. Uh, at least not what I've seen. <laughs> he might have it uploaded when we, you know, stop streaming mm, and then we can yeah. watch it. Dude, I'm gonna watch it so fast. <laughs> well, not fast. I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch it intensely. Um, but if any, any SMP deserves a spazzaline, not spazzaline, what the, uh, a saddest inspired um animation i think it's third life i'm up screw the dream smp <laughs> and the dream smp actually seems pretty cool um i just can't get into it because yeah. there's so many hours of footage yeah same there, there's also like a lot of other things that i'd rather watch like also just like the fact that like the dream smp is like streamed versus like third life which is you know uh recorded i don't know i feel like i when it comes to youtube videos i'd rather watch you know the youtube video um i i'm not to say i don't like streams obviously i'm a i'm a v streamer <laughs> i think that you know i should hopefully be good at streams but uh, and like streams, but I don't really like, I guess Minecraft streams is the big one. I don't, I'm not, I, I haven't really got into that much. I, I, I don't dislike them, but like, if you're trying to make like lore, having it be live, it, I don't know. Stupid. Like, I, don't know. I think the first like Minecraft, like big story thingy I saw was Afmal, yeah. <laughs> she was, like, huge on that. And, um... I... I'm a little upset with where it went and I stopped watching it because it just... was weird. It got weird. Yeah, it got weird. It got really weird. 
but at least there was my street. Oh, oh, that got weird too. Okay. Uh. Yeah, it was a lot. Yeah. Um, but my, but just like the idea of having like a story like in Minecraft was so wild to me. I actually, <laughs> when we were younger, um, we wanted to, to be, be Athmau, you know, like, you know, make those Minecraft lore driven. Does he, he want up? No, he wants up. He wants on your lap. He's scared. Oh, there he goes. Uh huh. <laughs> I can't draw like this though. <laughs> Here, give him to me. He gets a little nervous when you spin the chair. He buddy. <laughs> oh God, you're hard to move. Oh, okay. I've got a dog. Okay. Hey, buddy. <laughs> All right. He's chilling. He's chilling. I don't know if you'll hear him. He's kind of a breather. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. Wait a fine. second. Did the music stop? No, it didn't. Oh my god. I just turned it down to the point where I couldn't hear it anymore. Whoops. That's okay. You guys can hear it. I don't really need to hear it. I just like the music. Oh, my tummy hurts. This is what I mean by my dog being like a cat. Uh, you probably didn't actually hear him. You would probably expect a dog to like bark or whine. Nah. Oops. Well, he whines sometimes, but more often than not, he's just sort of there. He's chilling with us. What the heck? He doesn't usually like sitting on our laps on these spinny chairs, though. Kind of freak him out. But Oops. here he is. Oh my God. I should probably, uh, he, he's a Bichon. I, I'll probably send a picture in, like, the virtuality chat. I don't know. Uh, I think eventually, um, we'll have a Discord. But that will be eventually. Uh, not yet. <laughs> yeah. Um, when I'm 18, I will make one, okay? I already kind of have one made, but, like, Listen, it's it's complicated. Ooh. Is, is this white? Hold on. <laughs> is this? That doesn't look white. Hold on. Uh. Yeah, not quite. I just. I'm stupid. Uh. Why is that? Oh, I know why. Cause I've got. I, I, watching people draw is always very satisfying to me. I, I want to, um, see more art streamers. Like, I like watching, like, other VTubers, but other art streamers are also very, very cool. Okay, I'm done. Uh. Just... Do you, uh, I, so, Boba Tea. I'm not actually a big fan of just tea in general, but I really like the taro boba tea because it's just so sweet that, you know what, I'll cave um, when I don't feel like having, when I feel like having stomach issues, boba will be my choice, you know, taro boba tea. What the heck did I do? Oh my god, did I seriously? Did you do the color on the line art? No, I accidentally. Wait, huh? Oh my god, I'm so dumb. I don't know. Ah. Uh oh. It was all. It was all. None of it was. Uh, opaque? It was opaque. How? Because I accidentally tapped on this, like here. <gasps> no uh, way. Anyway. How much of it? I think just this. I hope just that hand. hand. I would hope. I would hope. Hello. Hello. It would suck if it was like. A ton. Oh man. Okay. I think that's it. That's all it was. Today, Oops. Genshin Impact is going to go under for maintenance. Go under. For <laughs> go. Maintenance. Yes. 
go under maintenance. Go under ma maintenance. Um, and I'm excited because Klee. Um, tomorrow, do you want to play Genshin on stream? We could. I, I think we could. I think I, I want to. And then we'll probably play a drawing game the day after that. Whose account will we go on? Mine. Because I want Klee. Klee is mine. But, uh, I really want Klee. Oh my gosh. So, ooh, wait, I don't know if I can actually say this, because I think it's, like, spoilers. I won't say it then. Uh, but very exciting stuff. Well, actually, no, it's not spoilers. They, they put it on the Genshin Twitter. Seiyu! This little chibi, the chibi Claymore! Oh my god. I heard she's a four-star. And a healer. I think I'm in love. I, I want I want her on my team more than anything in the world. Cause like, oh my gosh, that's like not only like the cutest thing in the world, right? But like, I really need a healer. And an animo healer, uh, I already have Jean, but like, I also like kind of have like my heart, like my heart goes to Claymore characters cause I main Claymore characters for a really long time until I had Xiao. Uh, but yeah, they're, they're very cool. <laughs> I, I really, a Claymore animo, animo character would be a first and a Claymore healer, I think is also a first. Oh There's no, Noelle. Uh, Noelle, 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 you right. Though Noelle's like an everything character, right? She can be whatever you want her to be. She can be a healer, DPS, Ugh. shield. Support. She's so everything. <sighs> My dog is so cuddly. Ah, uh, like, it's always sweet when he's like this. Does anyone else's dog, like, put their, like, chin, like, on your hand i don't understand why like some dogs do that but it's it's really cute <laughs> it's really adorable um and also like when dogs bury their noses under like blankets super sweet but him being on me has actually made me pretty hot i was complaining about being cold um, I bet you can hear Boomer breathing into the mic. Because he's breathing into the mic. He's really sweet, but like... I hope it's not too loud. <laughs> I'm not very talkative today, I'm sorry. I think you actually are more talkative today than you were yesterday, but that's besides the point. Uh, I'm just really tired. Oh, so I'm trying to get commissions set up, so I'm like looking at other people's commissions and I'm like, ha ha ha, I'm a steal. Um, <laughs> uh, I, I <laughs> that seems mean, but like, Uh, the music keeps cutting out. Yeah, it's cutting out for us. I think it's actually fine on everyone else's end, but um, we have really crappy earbuds, <laughs> so so that happens sometimes. Uh. <sighs> I really, really, really like your art style. That sounds like sort of like uh, there. There's not that many people. Like, sometimes people um, compliment your art style when there's, like, nothing else to compliment, you know? Uh -huh. Do you know those people? Yeah. Oh my gosh. So, actually, I really want to talk about art and just, like, how crappy some artists are. 
Because some artists are like really crappy. You know the ones I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. And some artists I really like, I think, are making terrible decisions because of these things. Um, an example, uh, there are a lot of artists that say that tracing is bad and that it doesn't help you at all. And that is such BS. <laughs> I don't mean to swear, but BS. That's not true at all. And most of the time they even admit, like, when I was a little kid, I traced, but it was so, I regret it, you know? Uh, I feel so weird right now. Um, people will be like, tracing, it's bad. Don't do it. Um, when there's, like, actually a lot of, like, um muscle memory that's really important when it comes to drawing i think some people forget it like morgan being able to make these long strokes not that many people can do that especially if they're new to art and tracing can help you develop these skills way faster mm -hmm. especially in the beginning because when you have nowhere to go at the very beginning i mean you trace letters when you're in kindergarten oh that doesn't teach you how to spell come on you know It's just, it's a goofy thing that some people say. And it really, really bothers me because at the end of the day, I think it's just trying to stop more people from becoming artists. Um, and I understand, you forgot to turn it back to reference. I understand some people, you know, having like the worry like, oh, well, someone's gonna trace my art and steal it. Um, people will steal your art in a way that is way less effort worthy. I promise. They're not gonna trace it. They're going to, to just, just repost it. <laughs> mm-hmm. And either way, um, most of the people that do trace are either doing it for practice and then some people will be like, well, then don't post it. But most of the people are children. And children don't really know any better. You know? You good? No. Taking a stretch? I don't know. I'm so tired. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm like killing the vibe here. You are a little, yeah. Um, but it's really like annoying that there are these people that are like tracing makes you a bad artist. Like, okay. Tracing doesn't give you some skills. Whatever. I still think you're wrong, but whatever. But saying it actually makes you bad at art is just so ridiculous. I can understand sometimes getting some bad habits from tracing, such as um, becoming too stiff. Um, that can be a problem that can happen. But that would happen even if you drew without tracing like it's not just something you get from tracing it's something that you get from being insecure as an artist um right mm -hmm. wouldn't you agree i agree insecure artists oh, no. insecure artists are the ones that you know struggle to get like confident strokes down which <laughs> makes a lot of sense when you think about it obviously um but it's just i feel like all these artists saying like don't trace don't do this don't do this only be original fun fact morgan style is a copy of Morgan? Lavender Town? Lavender Town. I don't know why you like to put me on the spot like that. Because <laughs> I thought that you might want to say it's your style. Um, but if you compare the style now to Lavender Town, it doesn't actually look that similar. It, uh, it, it looks a little more similar to, I think, Casey Golden's style now. Yeah, kind of. Um, but it doesn't even look like Casey Golden. It, it looks like your style. 
but you got way more confident with drawing and you got way more confident in like a style which by the way art styles are not that important they're only important if you are making like a brand so like if you're making a comic or a tv show and you need a consistent style so like for example how about productions you know having us be in different styles would be a little weird um though it's not like too surprising and you were telling me before that you do want to get a different style right just like because <laughs> well like it would probably help a lot with i mean i want to draw different things with yeah different vibes mm -hmm. people don't talk about how different art styles have different vibes they only talk about how original they make you which is such a weird thing to put emphasis on, right? Wah! Dog, hi. Um, because originality doesn't automatically equal good. Here, he wants down. Here, there he goes. Um, oh, he's left. I should close the door then. Now he's gonna open it again. <laughs> pain um but it's so weird how like some artists are extremely like just gatekeepy about just i don't even know how to like say it they're like saying what makes good art and what makes bad art and that's sort of why i don't like you know the do this not that because like well, most of the time, they are actually giving good advice, and I think they are, you know, trying to be good, right? They're trying to give advice, and they don't actually mean to tell you not to do something. There's just a lot of artists that are insecure, <laughs> and sometimes the draw this, not that, is just sort of either obvious or it's like just plain rude so like they'll draw like a stick figure and then they'll draw like a really realistic human and be like this is what you should do but they didn't actually explain what to do so it was just rude because you know how is this helping anyone <laughs> mm -hmm. that that bothers me um and then there's also just some like do this not that that is just like this is more anatomically correct therefore you should do it when sometimes it just looks worse. Like, I think it's really more important to push your poses rather than to have them be completely anatomically correct. Especially when it comes to animation and cartoons. Um, because it will make it look much cleaner. Yeah? Mm -hmm. um, just also, if you've ever looked at like positive animation or just anything, at a certain frame and something looks weird that was probably done on purpose because it makes it look really good when it's all together those are smear frames right mm -hmm. so pushing those poses and not having it be anatomically correct is actually the correct thing to do um to make it look good and yet there's all these artists out there that are like yeah, it's gotta be realistic you like oh you're missing the wrist bump or like whatever and it's like if it looks good, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. And most of the time it comes off as more of a superiority complex than an actual bit of advice, right? Mm -hmm. There are some artists that really are trying to help, but I think the format is just unhelpful. Mm -hmm. And also just, um, there would be, there are some that are like, Hi, I, um, have some advice. Here's the advice. Um, don't copy me. And it's, it's weird. <laughs> it just comes off as like a, this is something I think I'm really good at. But if you do this, then you're just copying me because I'm the only person that's allowed to, you know? And I know most of the time they don't mean for it to come off that way. But like, it does. <laughs> It does Good Lord. a lot, right? Mm -hmm. 
And also, like, there are people that ma maliciously will steal art. They are trying to make a profit off of your art because it's an easy buck to make. Um, those people, usually not children, they are usually full grown adults and you can tell the difference by the way they speak, by the way they try to perform things, but usually you can tell it's more malicious. Versus actual children who most of the time are just posting something online and maybe they'll be like, look at this thing I drew. I've been really improving a lot, really fast. And I think calling them out on it isn't actually helping them as an artist and also just isn't helping them with anything in general. It's it's upsetting is the main thing um, that people will basically use like art theft as an excuse to like bully children. I think that's weird. Like art theft is a real thing, but I think like looking at like children who are like innocently like trying like I like this artist. It's completely different. And way too many people compare them like they're the same thing. Mm -hmm. Uh, do you want to draw the under of the skirt? Uh, it wouldn't show up. I'm just like, my brain doesn't say. My brain says it's not actually there. I'm confused. <laughs> I think I know where it would be. It would be like here, but I don't... No, it would be like... I don't wanna. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm starving. I didn't actually eat breakfast this morning because I'm stupid. Uh, well, like my dad offered to get like tender town and I was like, no, that's too greasy. And then I just sort of forgot. I'll eat after the stream, don't worry. The stream will be over in a bit. You gotta shade it and then we're done. Basically. Pretty much. Uh, and also, I need to set up the commission stuff. Oh my god, I'm dumb. Ah. You know, you're making it sound like you're really upset, but your model's really smiley. <laughs> He's like, no! Oh god, what will I do? <laughs> so kind. Okay. Flats have been implemented. Flatted. Oh. That didn't go the way I was expecting it to. Okay. <sighs> Let us finish the shading. I'm just complaining this whole time. I'm sorry. I'm really annoying. <sighs> You're good. Not really. I'm annoying myself. <laughs> <laughs> I understand why you're like cranky though. Yeah. COVID vaccine. Yeah, I was. I think I was cranky the same. I think I was also very cranky. <laughs> I'd be surprised at anyone who isn't mm -hmm. cranky after getting a COVID shot. Mm. <sighs> uh, you, okay, so you know how some water tastes different, right? Like tap water, that's like the medium. Right, the, that's the exact middle. And then there's water that tastes worse and water that tastes way better, you know? And like, I always sort of knew like some tap water tastes a little better than other tap water or whatever. Um, but so my school did this thing called like adopt a senior. Adopt where, a senior. what? Adopt a senior. Yeah, like a senior in school, not a senior citizen, okay? Yeah, I knew what you meant, but it's still strange. <laughs> but it was like, hey, uh, you. Uh, I will give you a present because you're graduating, even though I don't know you. Um, 
But my friend, um, Brady, his mom saw that I, like, you know, was graduating and was like, mm, mine, I'm picking you. And we had to, like, write down a list of, like, things that we, uh, like. And I literally, <laughs> I put down water for a drink because I said, like, oh, write down a drink and write down a snack and write down other stuff. And, like, I literally wrote down water and pretzels. Probably like the most boring thing, right? But my but my friend um, and his mom um, got me the good stuff. I never actually had life water up until that point. It's good. I don't even know how else to describe it. It just tastes really good. Uh, it just tastes very clean, but not super clean to the point where it's like slippery. It's like it's like thicker water, which sounds gross. But like not like super thick like <laughs> water is weird to describe it's like a wine taster like mm, yes this this wine is thick and juicy 10 out of 10 i give this oh, wine right oh, no. um i've never had wine nor do i ever want to uh Probably. I'll probably try it, but like, I don't even like soda, so like, my guess is alcohol. I don't think I'll like it. Um, if there was alcohol that tasted like water, I'd probably be an alcoholic, but <laughs> there's not, so yeah. <gasps> How could you forget your cheeks? That's so they're cute. Um, so because of the update tomorrow, probably going to play Genshin on stream. Because I'm going to assume that the story's going to be out tomorrow. If, if it's, it's not, not then uh, probably not. If it's not, then I don't know. Uh, I don't know why it wouldn't be out, because the update's coming today. Tomorrow, it should... I don't know. Cause last time, I feel like the update came, like you got the, you download the update and it didn't actually show up until uh, the 10th. Like, no, 10 o'clock, um, not the 10th, the 10 o'clock the next day, like 10 a.m. At least where I am. <laughs> I guess it's Eastern, Eastern Standard Time, EST. Is that what that means? Eastern Standard Time? I don't know. <sighs> you don't know what I don't understand? Daylight Savings Time, okay? I, I understand part of the reason, okay? But I feel like Daylight Savings Time isn't enough. Okay, so like daylight saving time, daylight saving time is to make sure that it's night when it's night and it's morning and it's when it's morning or whatever, right? But like it's summer and it gets like nighttime at midnight. It should get nighttime way earlier than that. And it should be morning way later. But like I feel like I'm constantly in the morning when it's, you know, it's. It's weird. I don't like it. I thought daylight savings is like to save money on electricity or something. Ooh, uh, well it probably is because, you know, the sun's out longer, right? Mm-hmm. Is, is it just so that you can get the day as long as possible? That makes sense. I don't know why I never thought of that. Um, I'm out of water. Um. But yeah, daylight savings time. I, I just, I feel like if you're going to turn back the clock in order to make, you know, the day last longer, do it so it lasts longer, even longer, please. And like that's morning when it's morning and it's night when it's night. Cause I, you know, 
big stretch. It's so pain. <laughs> My bones hurt. Why do your bones hurt? I don't know. You need to sit better. Clearly. I should get a cushion for your chair. The chair is cushioned. It's not cushioned enough. Is it just me, or does it look a lot more purple on the screen than it does on my tablet? Well, I mean, the tablet's surrounded by more purple. Huh? The tablet? I mean, sorry, not the tablet. Uh, the computer is surrounded by a lot more purple, so it probably looks more purple. I think it does look more purple. I get what you're saying, and it's probably because it looks that way because there's more purple around, right? Also, the brightnesses might be different. You know you have the right colors. Yeah. So, ooh, this is a fun fact. Um, before we decided on being VTubers, we were planning on being uh, PNG tubers. Not even streaming, just on YouTube. So PNG YouTubers. Uh, and it was going to be very, very cool. <laughs> and I sort of, I, I did edit a bit of it until I realized, oh my God, this I'm way doing too way work. too much work. Like, so we played through Undertale and it was so ambitious to the point where it was obnoxious. Uh, it was going to be like, okay, um, when I'm voicing the characters, I'm gonna be dressed like the characters and I'm going to show all these different emotions at these times. It was basically like a full-blown animation. Except, except not animated. Yeah, which sounds stupid, but like, I wonder if I could find it, but like, it wasn't even like a normal PNG tuber where like it just lights up or like it's like animated when you're talking or anything like that. It was so, it was so weird and I, it was just, I don't even know how else to, like, describe it. <laughs> Other than overly ambitious. Yeah, definitely overly ambitious. So we couldn't do that. Um, though I still have a lot of the things. I'm gonna see if I can find them. Just why does my wrist hurt on my left wrist? Are you drawing with your left hand? No, I don't know what's going on. It just hurts. Ow! You good? No! Do you have a Charlie horse? Charlie Rose, it feels like my bone. Huh. Oh my gosh, I'm in pain. It's annoying. Ow. Do you want to stop streaming? No. Okay. I have to finish this. Alright. Uh. Sometimes you concern me. Yeah, that's probably uh, because it's concerning. You know... Both you and me are very thin people, but I would not consider us healthy. Um, like at all. You dislike exercise, because we don't really exercise as much as we should. And that's kind of a problem. It creates a lot of issues. Mm-hmm. Um, hold on, I'm trying to find the rights from when we were going to be PNG tubers. Um, I'll do one of, I'll do one of me. Let's see. Uh Okay. So can I just drag it on? No. <laughs> I wanna figure this out. Oh yeah, and my hair was brown in this. Uh you can actually see how much you've improved. Oh my yeah. god. That's crazy. I didn't even realize. Wow. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna try and put this on the screen. Because this is actually pretty cool. Um, okay. Image. Uh. Or wait, sh I should do window capture. What am I doing? Making more work for myself than I should. Okay, 
well ah this is weird but um i'm covering up stuff for a moment but here's here's one um as you can see it's a bit ambitious um because this is like the intro part where like you're reading like the once upon a time i had a book and then i was gonna get rid of the book after that scene so it's sort of like um and i had like a ton of like different like just for the intro just for the intro i had a ton of different like looks and it was like i it was like so i had the eyebrows like sad there was like sad eyebrows angry eyebrow i found angry eyebrows and like different ways of looking where my eyes were more square where my eyes were like not so square i have ones with my eyes closed uh yeah wow you've improved a lot in art also i didn't have legs oops uh because we didn't need the legs but my hair was brown to match match frisk so morgan actually um morgan had and like there's all these different poses so all these were different poses and they all have like you know mouth closed mouth laughing mouth whatever um and then eyes opens eyes closed and then like emotions from there uh we'll do happy i guess and there's like a ton like it was a lot of like art okay man i didn't even realize like yours looks way cleaner than mine why <laughs> Anyways, so their colors were shifted a little to look more like uh, Kara from Undertale. That was so... Wow. But yeah, it was a lot. It was a lot. And, um... Yeah, that was our original plan. It was just way too ambitious and there's way too many things that we drew. I think we actually, just for the intro part, drew like a thousand something sprites. And we didn't even use all of them. It was just like so that we could have the option and like, it was crazy. I don't know if I still have the recording of like the part that I did edit, but it, I, I was pretty proud of the way that I edited it. So yeah, um, that's what could have been. It just was way too much work. And I didn't even know VTubers were in existence at the time. I didn't even think PNG YouTubers existed. I was like, I am so smart. I had a genius idea. Um, but no, PNG tubers exist. Is I uh, just not super like that, where I had to manually go in and like. There are some like um, one that comes to mind is like uh, Ray from Ginger Ninja Owo, right? Um, but even then, it's like the amount like that they have were not that many. <laughs> I think we were just crazy. <laughs> um, but it really got emotion across. I will say it was pretty effective. Um, but a VTuber is able to, like, get all those emotions without, like, any editing. It can be captured in real time. Wow! Um, though I don't have any eye shape changes. Um, we did have that for a while. Um, we probably won't end up having our eyes change shapes anymore. Just because, like, there's a couple reasons why. Like, lore why, lore reason wise. <laughs> um, um... I'll explain it more if we, like, ever do go to draw our comic. Which I think we will. Maybe even next week we will, I think. That would be pretty cool. <sighs> Almost done. <sighs> and then we'll post these pictures on our Instagrams and our Twitter and a couple of other things. Uh, so yeah. I'm also probably gonna make boba after this because I still have some left over, obviously. Uh, the big boba balls that don't go in the straw, which sucks. Uh, I wonder what, what I'm gonna I eat. Think? What should I eat? Um, I don't know. Hmm. 
Why do you have the, still have the sketch? I don't know, because I didn't want to get rid of it. Um, but yeah, busy, busy bees. We, I thought that we were like, we have everything in order for when we go to Twitch stream. And then it's like, nope, I have this and this and this and this. There's so much stuff all the time, every time. It's just a lot. It's a little overwhelming, though. I will say, I feel way more loosened up today than I did yesterday. What about you? Eh, I feel horrible today. Well, just, yeah. That's just how it is. But you seem to be a bit more confident, at I least mean, with your drawing. You think? Uh, well, just from, like, obser observing, uh, you are a little slower, but, like, at the very beginning of our first stream, you were like speeding to the point where it's like you weren't super like checking for quality. I mean, yeah, I ended up <laughs> making a backwards hand, which is like yeah. not something that I'm known for doing. Mm -hmm. Your skin looks like Rosaria's tint. You know how Rosaria's skin is like pink? Pinky purple. Um, yeah. On the computer, it looks that color, but uh, it's not actually. Actually, that's so weird. It looks like it's only on OBS that it looks that color. Weird, that's so weird. Because I'm looking, I have like, <laughs> my setup is terrible. I have like all these different electronics like everywhere. It's pretty inefficient. Well. I wouldn't say it's inefficient, but it's pretty weird. I don't know that many other people that like, I have like a monitor here and I have a separate computer over here. I have a monitor over there, but it's not on. <laughs> um, our phone's in front of us. No reason, not like we're being tracked or anything. Um, but yeah. I would like to, I think it'd be cool to make some VTuber fan art, you know? But which VTubers? I remember I really wanted to do a fan art for Pecora and Corone. Really? Yeah. I thought you were gonna say like the Hollow Live Yen girls. I mean, yeah, but I remember like back before the Hollow Live Yen girls existed, mm. uh, we were watching a bunch of clips of like specifically Pecora and Corone. Yeah, those were our first two VTubers. Uh, Hollow Live's amazing. I, I, I really enjoy it. I, I, especially Hollow Live Yen. I said this before, but like the Hollow Live Yen girls are like amazingly so talented. talented. Like all of them. And they're all so entertaining and funny. There's like not a single weak link. It's, it's pretty good. And I like how close their gen is. Um, I wasn't around for like the first gen of like Hall Alive Japan or Hall Alive Indonesia. Woo. Oh, hello. Ah, hello, Maddie Sensei. Thanks for the host. Um, but, what was I saying? Ah, yes. So, the Hall Alive Yen girls are the first like Jen that like I get to see fully um that's what it feels like to me at least it's it's pretty cool um how are you doing Maddie sensei I don't know if they're actually here well it's sweet that they hosted me uh it's just there's a lot of different um, Hollow Live Yen. I mean, there's a lot of different Hollow Live groups, and I feel like most of the time their gens mix, you know. And I don't have a problem with that. I actually really like the relationships that everyone has. Um, but I feel like <laughs> that's laundry. Um, but I feel like with Hollow Live Yen, they're all so close. 
It's done? I think so. I love it. Let's compare. Wait, hold on. Oh, you gotta group them. Ah! Oh my gosh, hi! hi. Thanks for the follow, Maddie <laughs> Sensei. How are you? Um. Hello. I honestly tell you the illustration is very beautiful. Ah, oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I was about to say, I'm so talented. <laughs> But I feel like that's just become my catchphrase now. Yeah. Okay. I love the art. I didn't do it. <laughs> Morgan's doing it. They, they're good at art. <laughs> so. Really? Thank you. It means okay. a lot. So, hi. <laughs> we are probably about to end soon, actually. Yeah. <laughs> It looks very pretty. Thank for you. An hour or so. Thank no, you. more than an hour. And I'm very cranky because I'm, <laughs> the I COVID shot. Yes. I didn't get very sleep. No way. I didn't get much sleep. <laughs> That's what you meant. Yeah. Okay. But here's me. And then. Uh, and here is Haley. That's me. I didn't draw that one either. <laughs> but yeah. So we've been spending the last two days just drawing this stuff. And getting to know us. It's fun. <sighs> anyway. Uh, but we are ending. Um, also, I didn't eat anything and I'm hungry. <laughs> um, so, one moment please. How nice. I know, I'm, I'm starving. <laughs> <sighs> So, thank you everyone for watching. Thank you to Maddie Sensei and Solik, and as well as Maddie Sensei again for hosting. It means a lot, even if you kind of showed up at the very end. I like having people to talk to. <laughs> yes, um, so we are going to raid. Um. Give me one moment. I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> I messed this up so many times. Uh sup. You're welcome and you're very talented. Thank you. <laughs> you're gonna make my ego. Sick. <laughs> Goodbye. Alright, so thank you again, everyone. We'll be streaming again uh, at 2 o'clock tomorrow. So thank you for watching. And we'll see you all later. Goodbye. Uh, I need to stop streaming. Ah.